My name is Dylan Robinson. Uh, man, I grew up really rough as a kid, uh, not, uh, you know, type of fighting where mom and dad are you know, basically arguing and uh, kind of make up at the end of the night. It was fighting like uh, physical abuse, drug abuse, you name it. Uh, I was exposed to it. And so I thought that was pretty normal, pretty customary. But um, as I got a little bit older, uh, towards fifth grade, I realized that my life was a little bit different. So by the time I was 16, um, I was in a very uh, dark place. Man, I was just so frustrated and you know, drugs are taking over my life. Uh, I got an assault charge when I was 16. And uh, however, there was about two friends uh, that weren't coming to my party parties anymore and I was throwing parties every weekend and I remember remember asking them I'm like man you know where have you guys been and and they said John and Selena and I didn't know what that meant and, and they said you need to come and talk to John and Selena and I remember at that point I pointed at him and I said man that uh, that God stuff that Jesus stuff isn't for me all I had been exposed to was abuse and uh, ne never knew there was a God who loved me didn't know that I had a purpose I was sitting at a basketball game one night and I asked my friend if I could go and uh, stay the night with him because I was still going from house to house and all of a sudden I looked looked at him, I said, man, I said, I'm never going to do anything that anybody wants me to do. You know, I had so much pride, but I said, I need something different. And I said, if this God thing is it, I need it. I wake up the next day, first time sober in three months. Um, and man, I had a joy to my heart. Uh, by the end of that next day, um, I gave my heart to Jesus Christ at a 30 hour famine, which wasn't even a big outreach event. I was just sitting there and um, some of the roughest people uh, in that town were there at the altar and they're bawling. And, and Pastor Selena had us pray for uh, f a family. And at that moment, God began to bring back memories as a kid and me covering my ears and crying myself to sleep, wondering why you know this was happening to me, wondering why all this, you know, these bad things were coming, why the cops were involved and, and all these things were happening and, and he said Dylan I loved you and I got off that altar that day and I knew that I was a changed person and 2 Corinthians 5 17 says therefore who's in Christ is a new creation the old is gone the new is here and I remember telling John one night which was Pastor Selena's husband he, you know he's feeling sorry for me because my dad and mom were still in and out of jail and uh, all my friends were uh, back to doing their own thing he said D he said do you want to go back man to your old life and and I just looked at him and said Johnny I said Jesus is all I got, man. I said, there's no going back. And so, uh, long story short, uh, by the grace of God, I finished high school, which was a miracle in itself. Ended up going to college and then uh, became a youth pastor in Pittsburgh, Kansas and had a youth group over 150 students. And it was an amazing uh, man time. But then God spoke to me one day. He says, Dylan, you're going back home. You're going to Springfield, Missouri. So I remember calling Pastor Selena and who was actually my, my god mom because her and uh, John took me in when I was 16 years old. They became my uh, god family. And the first family uh, I ever had where no drugs, no abuse were there. And so I called her, I said, I think God's calling me home. As God began to break my heart, he also broke uh, Pastor Selena's heart and, and realized that we were actually called to uh, plant a church together. And so uh, on February 21st of 2016, which is actually my uh, salvation and sober date, um, and we, we launched the well in uh, Springfield, Missouri. And uh, it's crazy because I lived in so many various places in the north side of Springfield, a very um, poverty-stricken uh, community. And there we were, we launched the church and uh, people were, you know, said, there's no way that this is going to succeed. And they're right, we couldn't have done it on our own. However, God blessed that. And by the end of that year, uh, we ended up moving to downtown Springfield, uh, Missouri, where now we have one of our uh, locations, uh, our campuses for the well. And I actually used to party pretty hard at the top of this garage here in downtown Springfield. Now we're underneath telling people about Jesus Christ. And, and so we just launched our second campus uh, here today um, as well. And uh, man, God has done immeasurably more than we can ask or imagine. And, and from all this, you know, I now am married to a beautiful wife, uh, Maddie, and something that I just never knew I could have. I, I saw all that God did through John and Selena and their family, but um, though God changed my life, I didn't know that He could use me to, to preach His Word. Um, I had a broken speech before. I wasn't smart. Uh, I just felt like I was just the kid who got uh, sober and gave his heart to Jesus. But man, God has used me in the ministry in ways that I never even knew He could. And now we know that God just uh, will continue to open doors and we're going to trust His guidance going forward.